Just something about this skirt that I was like, I need to see what the hype is about. I actually can't. Okay, we're doing a market tour. So let's start with our bread. This is so good. I got it like two weeks ago. The best sourdough. I just want to go yeah. in this. Oh yeah, we've already inhaled it. Um, a chocolate hot cross bun, but like sourdough. Yeah, it's yeah, like more now. Yeah, yeah. That it's like a brick. Heavy mm. as. It is oh, sourdough. Sure. It's a bit sour. Mm. It's a bit sour. You think? No. That tastes like sourdough. You need help. We got conned into buying these. Well, not really, because it was actually conned nice. In. No, but turmeric is good for mm. inflammation and all sorts of stuff. I got the chai one. But yeah, you just mix in like a teaspoon in with... Milk. What did he say? Any almond milk. milk or water? It's yum with coconut milk. I've we had it before. About that. But it's yeah, we got that. It lasts how long? Seven months in the mm. fridge. And this is my favorite. Oh, yeah. The and then these. Oh, who's this who? Because my one's decaf. Let me just take smell yours. I think this is mine. Smell that. And then smell yours. That's surely yours. True, it's way stronger. Maybe on the video we'll see you putting it down. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not decaf. We'll put it there and then we'll watch the thing back. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, okay. anyways, we um Oh yeah. Yeah, they're organic cold brew. Oh Vita got this custard apple. It's moldy. It looks wrong, eh? Yeah. Vita, have got... you Googled it yet? Yeah. Well it's falling apart. Oh it actually does look like oh. custard. What? Dude, can you see that? What? There's <gasps> a fucking maggot. Oh, Dude. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, there's more. It's all through it. It's all through it. Give me that. Don't eat it. No, no, no. no it's fucking... Vita wants it in the bin. Okay. Ooh, no, can you... you see it crawling? Fucking just really... Yeah, 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 take this. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, I knew it was wrong ah! when you picked it up. No, no, has it got a maggot in it? Yeah. yeah. Well, you need to throw it in the bin. Ooh. Is... But I didn't even see it. Fucking organic. Give me all the <laughs> pesticides, actually. I'll be doing a shot of pesticide. Okay, and then you got olives. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, limes. But these are from the maggot place. Where's he? Don't throw it over there. Put it in the bin. <gasps> Dude. That was like unhinged, actually. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. That was unhinged. <laughs> Aye. Anyway, these are from the maggot place. Now I'm concerned. Surely that's fine, eh? Yeah. If they haven't got like a hole in them. Anyway, I got some limes, which probably make it through. And an avo actually, so yeah. Feel it. Nah, it seems fine. Yeah. And some olives. Yum. These are, oh, chili garlic. Yum. And then Sicilian olives on the top and chili calamata on the bottom. Do you reckon I can eat one of these garlic cloves? Just like whole? I wouldn't chew it. I'm having this olive. You can no. try and all that practice and shit. You wanna try No, I just have the hot cross bun. No. Oh. I don't really feel like that. What else did you get? Is that it? Mm. I really wanna know which one's decaf now. Maybe we're doing a taste test. How will you know? Well, one will just be, I don't know. Nah. Surely we're watching our video back. You, this is your, this is your one. You brought the it over and one. put it next the to me. The strong one. No, that's not strong. This was on this side, the strong one. Because, I, no, I smelt the strong one first. I was like, fuck hell, because you thought this one was yours. And I was like, no, that can't be. Oh, you can tell. Pour it. Because yours would be like, yeah. See, so yours Darker. is dark. I was trying to figure it out. Mm, very nice. That's nice. It's just very weak, but I don't mind yeah. that. So yeah, the section of the vlog, we've <laughs> got a coffee all mixed up. There's maggots in the fruit. I knew as soon and as Vita, you picked that up, I was like, that's wrong. 
He's like, no, 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 with the skin on. Well, because it's an apple, you don't have to peel it. That's a real bit down. It's good custard apple. Sounds nice as. It actually did look like a dessert on the inside. We well, should like call them and be like, you've got maggots. Yeah, but I think that's like, especially with organic. Right. Anyway, that was our little animal. haul. The highlight was the hot cross bun. Mm -hmm. And the coffee, I feel like. Right, the poffages were the, my heart like. In this section. Oh. Yeah, the poff poffages. Um, yeah, I also poffages got these from the dogs, which I've already given them. Yeah, they had kangaroo ears with the fur on them. Yeah, don't. That was wrong. They look like little French ears. The lady saw me look at them as well. I've gone. <laughs> my face must have dropped because she was like kissing at me. Yeah, I like walked away when I saw that. I was like, yes. Oh, come and say hi. He doesn't like being on his back when he'll go forward. The babies! This nice thing that he got at the yeah, market. Boy. You want some coffee? Yeah. Can dogs have coffee? No, yeah. like, I mean, like, obviously not to have, but like, well, they don't. Yeah, we'll snizzle we'll a latte every morning. It's <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so sweet. Okay. Bye. <laughs>Monday and good morning wait what's the time I've had a really slow afternoon good morning it's 1 p.m. so anyways good afternoon I had a pretty slow morning I just felt like I really needed a sleep in I yeah I was just so tired I like set my alarm for six and I was just like that is not happening so I just went straight back to bed until about eight I have pretty much just been spending the whole morning, like you just saw, packing all of the orders that I got over the weekend. So from the TikTok and obviously like the free worldwide shipping, I got like 112 orders, which is amazing for me. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go and drop these off to the post office now. And then I'm actually going to go and meet up with Riley to have a look at some couches. One for her house and then one for my warehouse. Um, we want the same couches, but... Probably in different colours, so we're going to go into like their, what's it called? Not warehouse. Oh my god, what's the word? I literally have it on the tip of my tongue. Showroom. Showroom to have a look at some swatches and like, I don't know, test out the couch. We're going to go do that this afternoon and then I think we're going to go to pack fair and get, well I need a petty and I think she needs to get her nails done, but I've obviously just recently got mine done. What is that? mess you don't need to see that so yeah we're gonna go do that today and that's it that's all i have to update you guys with this is gonna be the biggest mission and a half to get downstairs well i guess i could just drag it <laughs> oh my god this is not good i managed to put it all in the back i'm gonna have to be quick all right surely <laughs> that was a disaster so I went to go and take the 
sack out of the back. They've all just fallen on the road. It was literally pissing. So I was there for about, I'd say a solid one minute, which is a long time in the rain. I was drenched and the tops of the parcels were like wet, but that's okay. I just gave them a little wipe down with my little bag that I had. God, what an ordeal. Anyways, I may as well show you guys what I got from my PO box. Oh, and the bottoms of these pants are all wet. I'm gonna have to change them. Actually, what's Riley doing? Oop, she's just said, you ready? Yeah. Where are we meeting first? I might have to do the haul later. jumper that I got from H&M I was like shook when I saw it I was like this is so cute obviously I'm wearing it like over the shoulder but this is the jumper definitely looks cuter like this but like I'm obsessed so literally run to H&M and get this and then these are Georgia and Joseph Riley's brand of jeans coming out I'm pretty sure in like two weeks actually doing her makeup for i think she's filming like a little campaign video so i was like yeah i'll do your makeup for that i also woke up with a massive pimple on my well, it's actually like a blind pimple maybe i should put a patch on it actually let me do that because it like hasn't got a head yet i'm in the spare but i'm like never in this bathroom Spot clarifying micro dark patch. It's from this brand, Zit Sticker. Pretty good actually. It's got like little tiny needles in it. So it like pierces the pimple. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna go and yeah, organize outside. Where is all my makeup? Here's some brushes that I can use. Yeah, I'm just gonna set up outside like I set up for Connor's makeup. I still need to edit her vlog. I mean, her makeup video, but I just literally haven't had a chance to do that. So yeah, the stuff may or may not be still here from when I did her makeup, but um, yeah, it actually is. And why are my keys there is what I wanna know, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm just gonna set this back up and then do Riley's makeup. Whoa. Yep. Oh, it actually looks so good. Does it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'll do a little. There's a mirror. What was that? Professional. Yeah. Do that. Whenever you're ready. I don't know which side. The bride cries. Which is it? Whoa. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that eye's nice. Do you like it? Thank yeah. you. And this is the aftermath again. Yeah. Gonna be a disaster. I've got um, Kenya's hang jeans up, like along the back. everyone it is currently what's the time 9 25 and i'm just getting around to packing orders from today i know i probably should have done it this morning but i slept in a little oh my god i need to scrub off my tan or attend to that um yeah i'm just about to pack some orders as you saw today was super busy. I was obviously helping Riley out with her little video that she was shooting, like campaign video for her new brand and then packed a bunch of bottles for Hot Girl Habits. And then we went and had lunch. We just had Zambreros and then 
yeah, that's basically it. I went for a walk this afternoon and then I had a shower and then I've just been on my phone for a couple of hours just, I don't know, replying to your DMs, replying to comments on my YouTube video, reading through comments, um, scheduling in posts. And then I looked at the time and I was like, holy shit, it's 9.30 and I literally haven't packed today's orders. <laughs> so I'm doing that now. Hopefully it won't take too long. I think I've got 14. That is all from me. I just wanted to come on and say hello, give you an update, and I will talk to you tomorrow. I've got my one-on-one -on -one with Lottie. I'm so excited. We missed last week because she was in Sydney and like our times didn't match up. So I really missed having my one-on-one -on -one boxing session last week, but I'm excited to go back again tomorrow. So yeah, that's the plans and I will speak to you guys then. Good morning. Happy, what's the day today? Wednesday. I just finished boxing with Lottie. I didn't take my camera in just because it was raining and I just didn't want to get the camera wet just in case. Because that happened to me in Fiji. I was on a boat, do you guys remember? And I had my vlog camera out vlogging and literally the littlest bit of water got into my camera and it just stopped working. So I just did not want to risk that. This rain is hectic. Um, I'm really feeling for those that are in Byram right now. It's flooding really badly. Yeah, like it's literally not stopping. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I've just been to the post office. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. Show you guys what I got. I got a couple of redirected mail. So these were sent to my Perth PO box, Oka Lane. Okay. Oh my god, is this Sunny's? Stop. Stop. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, cute. They're a bit of a vibe. Ooh, I like these. Actually. Oh my god, I do love these. These are cool. Thank you so much. Oh, Lash Fridays. I needed a top up of my favorite lash and brow serum. You guys know this is incredible. So thanks for the top up guys. Colourpop. We've got an eyeshadow palette and just a bunch of eyeshadows. Colour sticks. This one was also redirected from my Perth address. Maybe it was an accident because they've sent me stuff. Yeah, they've sent me stuff here. It's just some more pens. I actually love these pens. Thank you so much, Steph. Glow Serum, Vitamin C, Renew Serum, and a Super Serum with Niacinamide. Saya. Thank you so much. Oh, some new Ciate London Shimmering Lip Oil and Bronzing. Oh, Bronzing Serum. That's kind of giving me Drunk Elephant vibes because I'm obsessed with the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. So I'll definitely be using that. Yeah. I'll be definitely trying that out, actually. Apply under foundation. Ciate London. I'm going to go actually recycle this stuff while I'm here. And then go home and make some oats. Oh, my God, I feel like that's so bad. Like some warm, oh, some warm oats with Biscoff. Why did I just do that? Okay, I'm really excited. Okay, so I'm trying this. Well, not trying because I tried it at the market. Try turmeric paste and then I've just frothed up some almond milk. I think I actually made too much. And then I've got my oats. I'm just going to put some fruit on and yeah, that is my Becky. Thought I'd show you guys today's outfit. This is what I got in the mail. Was it yesterday? Oh yeah, I did get a bunch of stuff mainly here that I didn't unbox on the vlog, but I unboxed it on TikTok and my stories, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
So yeah, head over to my TikTok. I bought from a small business that I found on TikTok actually. This is one of the sets that I got from Lorna Jane. I love it so much. So I did end up getting a size large in this set and I just like, I don't know if it's just me, but like this size in trackies is just it. Like I freaking hate when trackies are like cutting off circulation perfect size for me like it's very very roomy and very giving so I'm loving it and then I'm just kind of wearing the matching crew neck just like this and then this is just a Stax um I think this is from their lounge collection the seamless really love it and I thought I'd whip this bad boy out because I literally have probably only worn it three times so yeah I thought that went really cute with the outfit I'm going to go to mum's, I need to pick up a few parcels, I need to go to the post office again, even though I went this morning, but I've got, I got another notification saying I've got stuff and I actually need it, um, and then I'm just going to drop off some orders. I was going to go get my brows laminated today, but we've rescheduled that to next Friday, so I'm super excited to have my brows laminated again, but yeah, just wanted to jump on and show you guys the fit. I also got a top up from Ultraviolet. This is my favorite sunscreen. I use the serum one. Hold on, I've already put it in my bathroom. This is the serum moisturizer that I use every single day. It's called the Queen Screen, not sponsored, but they did give me this, so thank you so much, guys. I was using this one in the meantime, which is also good, which is, it's kind of like a bit tinted vibes, but not like it's a thicker sort of consistency, but this one is my absolute favorite. I also tried this and it was really like quick drying. I think I still prefer these ones, the Drunk Elephant Bronze Drops, but still good. I'm going to try and um, mix that in with moisturizer tomorrow, but yeah, these are so good if you're just wanting like a no makeup sort of makeup look. It doesn't have coverage. It just gives a really nice bronze sort of glow. Let's see if you can see. You can't even really see, to be honest. Yeah, it kind of just like, yeah, it just gives you a bronzy, glowy sort of base. Anyways, I don't even know why I came into film. Oh yeah, hi, my pimple. Just come down a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is all. That's wrong. Okay, hi, I've just been to the shops. I went to Coles to get a few things. Seriously, do not buy these. These will not last all night. I'm cooking a late lunch. Anyways, I just went to the post office again. Sometimes I have to go twice in one day because of orders. Like if I get orders throughout the day and I'm not doing anything, I'll go drop them off on the same day that they ordered. So I went and did that and I had two parcels. So first one, what a coincidence. I'm literally wearing the exact same color. Like it's literally identical. So this one's a little bit more yellowy. I'm obsessed. So this is a new Stax Run Club collection. It launches next Friday. This hoodie though, I love the blue detail. So cute. And then these are the same material as the, you know, the Exit Mold pair of bike pants. The same material, but in this color. I'm obsessed and I'm bummed because I don't have the gray anymore because it was limited edition so i'm really happy to have a fresh new pair even though it's not gray i actually can't i cannot stop can you guys actually buy them so i don't and like sell them out because it's actually becoming very unhealthy okay i'm really loving the new lorna jane pieces clearly so I picked up, this color was quite cute, well not color, pattern. So I got this pattern bike pants. I think this would look really cute with the cream jumper. Very cute vibe. So these are the midi short 
length. And we've got a oversized tee in cream. I'm literally just gonna be wearing cream this whole winter. Very cute, you guys know how obsessed I am with the Lorna Jane oversized tees. I get a size large. And then this is a crop that actually goes with the set that I'm wearing. I get the crops in a large just because I find, especially with Lorna Jane, because most of their fabric's quite compressive, very flattering, but I just prefer a little bit more room and I just don't like when things are super, super tight. So that's why I get a large in the tops and they just like sit on my body perfectly. Still supportive though, even though it is a size bigger than I would usually shop for like a supportive crop, but this is just mainly for, I guess like even wearing not at the gym. So yeah, I got this jacket. Oh my God, this is cute. I actually love that. Oh yeah. So it's like a actual, it looks like a jumper, but really it's a jacket with buttons. Even this outfit would look cute. Together. Yeah. That's me. That is cute. Yeah, I love that. It's a perfect size as well. I got a medium in this because I just wasn't sure. But like, obviously you can have it done up. I kind of love how Lorna Jane's kind of steering away from only bringing out like active wear pieces and kind of going towards like more like lifestyle, like clothing kind of pieces. So I also bought these flowers because there was no tulips today. And I'm not sure ooh, how I feel about them. Anyways. Nice. That literally looks like there's cheese melted, but there isn't. Air fryer chicken is the bomb. It's like crispy on the outside and then like moist on the inside. Okay, I've just put the sauce that came in the packet, some crispy noodles, and now my chicken. Yum. Good morning. Wow, I look cooked. I literally woke up today and just had the sudden urge to completely just change my website. Like, completely. Colors, photos. I haven't gone through like all the like pages and updated like each collection's photos yet. But it literally, I've been doing this for three hours. So I woke up at like seven o'clock. I haven't even washed my face. All I've done is had water. I've just been in the same position in my pajamas. It, lo it looks pretty good, not gonna lie. I feel like it really needed like a refresh. I'm also, not like thinking about a rebrand because I would never, oh, I'm not going to say never, change my um, business name, but like just the logo, I don't know. Like I feel like there's so much more I could do with it. Like I do like how simple it is and just like elegant vibes, but I don't know. Like I'm, I'm open to, I don't know, maybe like a unique design or something else i don't know like i haven't even like thought about it yet but even just like changing the color palette and like just even the slides like i was looking at it this morning and i was like that is so ugly <laughs> like nothing matched like i was just like i literally updated this maybe six months ago six to eight months ago and it just it wasn't nice and like because i literally don't have time to do anything in life that was the last thing on my mind, but like, it should be something that you need to get right and to look good because it's my business. And like, that's what people look at when they're buying my stuff. So yeah, anyways, I, this is the website. Okay. Very cute. 
I guess you guys would be able to see it way better if you just jumped online. But um, yeah, I kind of, I'm loving like the neutral beigey brownie vibe. I'm still liking pink, but like not, maybe like a pale pink. So maybe I'll still incorporate the pink through my brand because I feel like the color pink is quite iconic. Um, but yeah, like pinks, creams, beiges, browns, you know, like that kind of vibe, just like what I've been personally loving lately. So yeah, I honestly look like I'm hungover. What is my hair? I look rough. I need to go wash my face at least. Brush my hair, do something to it. And yeah, get on with my day. I didn't even think about going to the gym this morning. I just had that, like, as soon as I woke up, I was like, I'm literally working on the website. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been like scheduling in. Look at my planner. My planner is like jam packed. This is the Steph Pace one that I use every single day. <sighs> but yeah, that is all. I just did a quick face. I literally never wear my hair out. The I feel like the only time my hair looks good when it's out is when I haven't styled it. Anyone else? Like whenever I actually do my hair, like properly do it with, I don't know, a curler or a straightener or do something funny. Why is that not staying? I don't know, I just don't like it. Whereas this is just dry shampoo, bed hair. Brushed it a bit. You know, it's just like natural vibe. <gasps> Fucking hell. I saw that coming as well, but I just ignored it. But yeah, I don't know. Like I'm just, like if I'm ever wearing my hair out, it'll be like this. No other way. I just, I don't know. I think it looks ugly on me. Unless it's like really loose and like natural. It's like second nature to me every morning to like, like, slick, like see, that's better. Gives me a facelift, you know? Anyways, I just filmed some stories, so I'm gonna upload them now. And then I'm gonna clean this mess up. Partly from, <laughs> partly from Connor, partly from Riley, partly from me. Nah, I actually did clean up um, after I did Connor's makeup a few weeks ago. But yeah, this is Riley from a few days ago. I need to film a haul, I also, and working with skims like that's pretty cool so i'm gonna go and pick up my parcel it's at mum's because they could only send it to a residential address because i use chl and i never get anything sent to my apartment because it's just so confusing uh so yeah that's exciting can't wait to see what everything looks like on i'm not even sure what like the vibe like i might do a real like, I'm just thinking, do I do a styling reel or do I just do a picture? I feel like for me, pictures are boring. Like, I don't, like, I barely even upload photos these days to Instagram. Like, of me and my outfits. I would much prefer, like, a styling reel or something. That's why I like TikTok, because it's creative. I think I might do something, that's if I'm allowed. I don't know if they want me to do a photo or a video. I don't know. Um, so I might ask them and see if I can do like some sort of styling reel with the pieces that they gave me. I don't know, just photos, like, I don't know. They're just not really my thing anymore. Like I used to be obsessed with taking cute pics. Like everywhere I'd go, I'd be like, oh my God, Peter, get a pic of me. And then I'd post it on the gram. But now I'm just like, I couldn't think of anything worse than going out full glam. Not saying you have to be full glam for a photo, but like, you know, put together, cute outfit, you know, you gotta, the location has to be on point. The lighting's gotta be on point. I just can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> I honestly can't be bothered anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't know how like people do it still to this day. Like it's hard work. Like I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, dude, you're taking a photo. It's, it is hard work when that's your job. Like there's literally influencers there and that's all they do. They go out and they take photos in like outfits or whatever like that's their job and I honestly don't think I could do that like every day and I used to do it for fun like not necessarily that I needed to post a picture for a brand um 
but I just don't have the time right now to be doing that. So that's probably why you haven't really been seeing many, you know, outfit, outfit content or that sort of content like on both of my pages because I wouldn't know where to fit it in my schedule. Okay, I'm gonna go pack this up now and stop rambling and go and make some breakfast because I'm starving. Okay, here she is. Let's do an unboxing in my mom's driveway. Okay. So we've got, I'm actually really excited for the unitard thing. So I got everything in a large to extra large just because, I don't know, I just don't really like the idea of something like actually sucking me in. Like I actually want to wear these not as, what are they called? Um, what is it called? Sculpt wear? That's not the word. Why do I have a mental blank again? You're meant to wear these underneath your clothes. But like I would definitely wear this as like a bralette. So like, how's that a large to extra large? But it's meant to be compressive. So I got that, which is super cute. Yeah, like, oh yeah, it's got like, yeah, like so stretchy. Okay, so I've got that. And then I got a sculpting bodysuit, mid thigh with open gusset. I have no idea what that even means. But um, I saw Kim Kardashian wearing this, like just literally on its own. Like, look how tiny <gasps> that literally looks like. It's for a child. But like I said, it's shapewear. It's shapewear. This would be so cute with like a blazer, some sneakers for a more like chic, sporty look. What's this? Oh, yeah, this is just a bodysuit. I feel like it might be a little bit too light for my skin tone to wear. Although, we'll see. Maybe with a tan, this could pop. But like right now, I feel like it's the same color as my skin. But yeah, I thought you could wear this as a bodysuit. You know? So yeah, they're my selects from Skims. They're probably not even watching this, but thanks so much for yeah emailing me. So cool. That's all. And yeah, I'll obviously keep you updated on them. I just put in some popcorn chicken bites that I just got from Coles. Having the rest of my salad. Ooh. Okay, yum. That actually looks amazing. <laughs> I probably cooked way too many bites, but I'm actually so hungry. That is dinner. Good morning, everyone. I'm about to go to boxing. Here's the fit. Wearing all stacks. And then, you guys know this jumper. H&M. Very cute. That is all. I've got quite a bit to do today and I get to show you guys something exciting that me and Riley have organized for the challenge. So hopefully that gets finished today so I can get it printed um, to show you guys. So yeah, that's the plans for today. And yeah, we'll chat after. I scrubbed my tan off. I'm just not sure about my outfit, so I think I'm going to get changed. I literally feel like a different person when I don't have tan on. Thoughts? Um, anyways, I don't even know if I can be bothered to change. Mum wants to go test drive a Tesla, so I was like, I'm coming. Um, I've always, I've, I don't even think I've ever been in a Tesla, so that's so cool. So yeah, she might be getting one. So yeah, like I said, why is there a fly in my house? Yeah, so she might be getting a Tesla. She's just wanting to see if she likes it, which will be fun. So I'll bring you guys along. I'm just not really vibing the outfit to be honest, but I think it's just because I'm pale. I look like a mum, especially with my hair. This with no makeup, mum. Okay, well, that is all. See you in the Tesla. Or is it Tes- is it Tesla? Or Tesla? It's definitely Tesla, because there's no Z in it. Okay, thought I'd let you know that I changed. Much better. Cute, these are from Cotton On. 
This is from Zara. Peep the new necklace. This one's just a sample though, so the plating's like fading off. Um, usually when I get my samples made, I just get it made in like 0.5 you probably won't understand this, 0.5 of a micron of plating, which fades off quite easily. That's the plating that's in like cheaper stores. So like La Visa, unless you get like the proper stuff, um, but like the costumey type jewelry, like the Kmart stuff is probably plated in 0.5. So that's what my um, samples are always plated in just because it's cheaper. So these will obviously be plated in 2.5, which is what all of my gold for May pieces are plated with, which is a really basically like a thick layer of gold. I've had people, friends, customers literally email me saying like, this is the best thing ever. I haven't had to take it off and they've purchased gold for May, but everyone's different. Everyone's skin's different. The only thing that I don't recommend keeping in is earrings, um, just because obviously with water, it can kind of get trapped, you know, inside the ear and that can make a metal turn black. If you did want your piece to last basically forever, it's best to remove and like when you're exercising and stuff, but I'm probably not the best person to follow when it comes to that rule because I, yeah, I don't even take my jewelry off even if it's not meant to. Um, and that's how I tested my jewelry out in the first place. Like they're not meant to be worn in the shower, but I did and like, yes, your pieces can fade quicker if you do wear them underwater um, and it's best to not. But if you do, it won't make your skin green. It won't like affect the jewelry. So you can technically wear it in the shower and not take it off. Solid gold is different because it's obviously not plated. It's a solid gold and yeah, it won't fade. It won't tarnish. So you can actually wear solid gold pieces. I definitely recommend, especially for cartilage, piercings and like piercings that you don't want to keep taking in and out. I always recommend solid gold jewelry for the cartilage and yeah, just like little piercings like this. Oh my God, cute. I actually haven't changed my piercings over in ages because Peter usually helps me. Like, especially with that, that and what's on this side. Yeah, like I want to change my tragus. Um, you can't even see. Anyways, I'm off. And I will speak to you guys later. Full menu. And you'll see what we're looking at here is controls. So you'll see we've got steering down the bottom in the middle uh -huh. there. If we press that, up comes up a little pop-up. And it's just showing you here. So it's a scroll down, scroll up. We can hit right to drive. Yep. Is... Yeah, and then take your foot off. Take your foot off. Okay. Yeah, like that. It's so smooth. Yeah, it's kind of like you're driving a... Like, like a, a buggy. Yeah, because you don't have any noise or acceleration. Very kind of minimalistic too, like you've got no <laughs> distractions. I okay. know, you've got to get used to this where yeah, it I know. just switches off. Apparently it just has like the one pedal for acceleration and then it's as soon as you take down. your foot off it just like slows, it slows stops. down, brakes. So you don't even really need to use the brake. But it's so sudden, it's instant. Yeah, I guess you'd get used to it like you pretty much accelerate as soon as you get to the lights and then take your foot off. Yeah. But that would be weird. It is cool though. All the cameras. See, it's, it just yeah, it's like jerky. Down. Wait, let me go get the other box. Also, don't buy these because they're amazing. They look like the best corn chips ever. Okay. Let's do the cold, cold stuff first. Is that annoying? Yeah. Okay, so I got a delivery from Bennett Street Dairy. Where is it? Cookie dough. Now, it might be weird, but I don't actually like cookie dough raw. Like eating it, like a lot of people. I would rather actually bake them into cookies. But this looks incredible. So I'm going to mum's tonight for dinner. And they actually also sent over the macadamia, white chocolate macadamia. So we're going to cook them tonight at mum's. But I just thought I'd bring the chopped chip one. I might wait till Riley's back from um, New Zealand so I can make them. So I can like take over some because otherwise I'll be eating the whole batch. They also put in a little cute cap. And then this cute like merch tee. But like I would low-key wear it. 
quite cool, the green and the red. Very cool. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to try. I'm going to put that in the fridge now. Next up, we have a skirt that I purchased from Sundays. You've probably seen it online. I was influenced by literally everyone having it. Um, so I bought it and I'm not much of a skirt girl. Like I literally don't even think I own a skirt apart from a denim skirt. But the last time I wore a skirt was probably when I was like, I don't even know. Like I don't wear skirts, but there's just something about this skirt that I was like, I need to see what the hype is about. So I ended up getting, I wanted to get the medium, but I ended up having to get the large just because they didn't have anything in stock. And every single time I went to check the website, there was no stock. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get the large. I've tried it on. Very nice. A little bit too big because I feel like it's meant to be a more of like an oversized, like hip skirt anyways, but still cute, still a good size. I feel like I would wear this more with like a bodysuit or even a one piece and then just have this like sitting low on my hips. That would be a really cute vibe. Um, but yeah, like I just don't like that it doesn't suck you in. Like it's not compressive. It just kind of like sits on your body. This part of my body, I'm not like the most confident about. So I don't usually like to wear anything like super, super. Actually, no. Well, I do wear stuff super tight. Like my bike shorts and my tights but I feel like they just I don't know sit differently than skirts like I don't know maybe because there's no like thick band anyways it looks really nice I will style it and I'll show you guys what it looks like but yeah my vision is like a one-piece bikini with this on the hips very cute um and like I've obviously been looking for like some cute stuff to wear to Hamilton so yeah I got that oh I got excited thinking this was the um, buttercream, but it is, there's no piece of paper in here, but it is the Fenty Skin Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. So I'm guessing it's like a moisturizer. It actually smells really good. Okay, so I'm guessing you just pop this in. How do I then, like if I want to use it, what do I do? Oh, okay. Thanks, Fenty. And this is just a top up of my fave. I've been out of Beauty Brain for a while, so I got a top up of that. And then just my favorite skincare. So this is my favorite night moisturizer, my favorite day moisturizer, and then I just needed some more of the brightening booster, which is vitamin C. I ran out of that, so. Um, I got some top ups. Thank you so much. And then finally, I got some more of the Run Club collection from Stax because I am obsessed. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I've got so much active wear, but this is definitely one of my favorite collections that they come out with, even though it's only the second collection. I just love the fabric. I literally have got stuff on right now. I had to put it on. Like, look at this blue with the cream. I just got pretty much the remainder of all the styles in the cream because I love it. And I love like the stretchiness in the fabric. So normally I probably would prefer to wear a large in the crops um, just because I just, like I've said a million and one times, I don't like when stuff digs in. The medium is good if I want it for support and if I want to like hold them in, but like, I don't know. I just feel like I don't really need that much support um with like the styles of training that i do like i don't really jump around too much anymore um so yeah the medium in this material fits me like a glove um and i love the new design so i got them all in black and cream had to get another one of these because i love this in the cotton fabric and then the cream and then the black white bits obsessed so these go live next friday but if you're in Sydney, I'm pretty sure they're in store this Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. I just went for a walk. I think I did about seven or eight Ks. So that's good. Wearing my new stacks. I'm obsessed with this color top. Like I feel like I'm not gonna be able to take this off. I, yeah, I have some stuff to do today. I wanna go to Office Works. I also wanna go get 
Because I feel like when I'm walking, I don't, because I usually just like put my key in my bra or like in my, like inside of my shorts. And then if I have my AirPods, sometimes I bring them, sometimes I leave them in the car. Um, and like sometimes I even don't like holding my phone. So I just kind of like put it here, you know? And I don't really like using, I've got like one of those magnetic little bags that you can like clip onto your tights. Yeah, I'm just not really vibing that look. <laughs> so I've been seeing this um like beigey, nudie cream, like bum bag kind of thing, but it looks really cute. Um, and I've seen a few people, even when I'm walking wear it, I've seen it on TikTok. So yeah, they have influenced me to go and buy one. And I'm pretty sure it's from either H&M or Uni Uniqlo, one of those stores. So yeah, I'm gonna go today to Pack Fair and grab one. I think I'm gonna make eggs. Because I was going to stop over at Tarte Bakery, which if you haven't been, the best miso scrambled eggs you'll ever have in your life. I was this close to ordering it, but I was like, nah, I'll make it myself because I actually do have fresh egg and avocado. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make it myself. And it's been a while since I made scrambled eggs. So that is what I'm going to make. So I'll show you guys. chef so good yum oh i forgot to put every mite oh well it will still taste good okay this is my outfit i'm gonna go to pack fair office works this is my h&m top i'm kind of regretting getting this small i feel like i should have gotten the medium actually i don't think there was any mediums there or even the large i don't know i just feel a little bit restricted in my arms but still cute and then these are the princess polly shorts and yeah, this is my Alma BB. And then I've just put on my like pouch at strap. Quite cool. And then these sunnies are from Cotton On. Okay, I'm off. I will keep you guys updated. Okay, this is the bum bag that I was looking at. All right, got the bum bag from Uniqlo. It's so cute. I love it. It's like that nylon sort of fabric. Well, it's actually not a bum bag. It's just a shoulder bag, but I'd obviously make it shorter so it sits like here. Yeah, I'm excited to wear this actually. Quite cute. Um, and then yeah, I got this top which you would have seen as well. Like it's so soft. I just thought like for a tanning top around the house. I like the color of it as well. Um, Yeah, I went into Gucci because I'd seen these platform slides on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, they look sick. So I tried on the denim ones and like just for the fit, um, but you can only buy them online. So I'm like, do I do it? Like, do I actually need them? I just thought they might be cute for when we go away slash just to have, you know? Because I'm definitely more of like a platform slide type of person rather than heels. Like I'd literally be wearing them every time I go out, I reckon. And they're so cute. Surely. Yeah, I don't really like the denim ones. I took like a bunch of photos. Yeah, I'll have to have a think about it when I get home. But yeah, you can only buy them online apparently. Um, I'm gonna go to Office Works now, and then that's it, pretty much.
Okay, for dinner I'm making my noodle chicken dish, although I have tried a new technique in poaching the chicken. So I found that boiling it straight was wrong. Like it just made the chicken like super tough. Um, so I actually Googled, I should have just done this the first time I uh, made it. I Googled a way to poach chicken so it's nice and like succulent and not dry. So what I've done was I brought the uh, pot to the boil, put my whole chicken breast in, took it off the heat, put a lid on it, and now it's been like 15 to 20 minutes. They say you can leave it up to an hour if you want, but like the minimum is about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I've just heated up my rice. I've got my greens here. I've made the curry sauce, obviously, and then I actually did chop up some spring onion. I'm not sure if you meant to like heat it up or anything. Anyways, not heat it up, like cook it so it's soft. So here's the, oh, it's looking, I'm not sure about that. I don't know, I feel like it could be raw. One sec. Okay, I'm like low-key scared. Okay, it actually is. Oh my God, like it's not like, it's not like noodle quality, but it actually like is soft on the inside. I probably could have taken it out at like 12 minutes. Oh my God. Whoa, that's so cool. Who would have thought? How good is that? Like I can tell straight away that it's like moist on the inside. Okay, let's construct this. Okay, this is it. Let's give the chicken a taste test. Yeah, I can already tell that it's... Mmm. That's it. That is it. Oh my god. You need to try this way. Like, that is dead set. Noodle. Oh my god. That is so good. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. How cute is this little outfit with my cute little shoulder bag? So this is the set from Stax. It's their Cotton Run Club collection, obsessed. Like they just fit so comfortably. And then this is my Uniqlo bag. And then this bolero is old from Princess Polly. I thought it would look really cute. And then shoes are what I always wear Adidas as we goes. But yeah, I'm gonna go, um, I'm actually gonna go to Harris, is it Harris Farmer's Market in Isle of Capri to get some more sourdough because I missed the Sunday markets this morning. Um, the Hoda markets where I usually get it from. So I'm gonna go try that out and maybe get a few more groceries. But yeah, I just thought I'd jump on and say, hey. Also the thing that I was gonna show you guys yesterday, I'm picking up today from Officeworks. So I had to get it printed. So I'll show you guys um, that for the challenge. Hey everyone, so I'm home now. I just went to get an acai bowl from Salt Mill and then I went to Officeworks to pick up what I've been wanting to share with you guys. So obviously we've got a new challenge starting tomorrow for 60 days and we thought we would make a little booklet to kind of, I don't know, like to keep yourself accountable and it's just something fun that you can do every single day. So I'm going to show you guys the booklet. Obviously we'll provide a PDF on the group. For you guys to download you can print them you don't even have to print them you can like screenshot it and like you know do all the little activities on your stories um but printing it's fun because you get to i don't know be creative and color in stuff i find coloring in really therapeutic last night i actually ended up printing off the booklet just from my printer i don't have a colored printer so it was only black and white just to see what like coloring in all the little things would be like and it was really really fun so so I was actually meant to get these booklets printed in A4 because that's the files that I gave them, but they somehow printed them in A5. Still cute though. This is a cute little habit tracker. So as I was saying before, you can color all these butterflies in after you complete every day. So there's 60 butterflies for the 60 days. All of our habits will be here. So then 
obviously you don't have to color in each part of the butterfly after every time you complete a habit but like at the end of the day you can just sit down and um you know fill out this booklet and fill out your butterfly i actually ended up buying some pencils so we can get cute and creative to color in the butterfly so that's for the next two pages and then the next two are our gratitude habit. So we just thought this would be kind of cool to have like even after the challenge. So we've got little clouds, we've got two little quotes that we've found um, and you can write in what you're grateful for every single day. And then the next two pages is our affirmations habit. So pretty much the same as the gratitude one. Um, where you can write in your affirmations every day or you can just write one word. I was just saying on the Facebook group, if you are struggling to find affirmations for every day, the app I am is really good. Um, so yeah, we've got two pages for that. Also again, 60 hearts for each of the days. And then at the end is just like a little reflection and then just a little message from us that you can read after the challenge. So I thought that would be a cute little, well, we thought it'd be a cute little touch to add to this challenge. I will leave obviously the link in the Facebook group to download this booklet. Like I said, you can print it. You don't have to print it. You don't even need to use it if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, that will all be in the Facebook group, which I'll leave linked down below. I'm going to end this vlog here because mum's just about to come over. I'm going to go for a walk along the beach and then I'm going to dinner at hers tonight. So I just thought I'd end this vlog here so I can start editing it. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will speak to you guys next week. Bye.